are you guys? Coming back for a little quick update. Today I am eight days deep. Eight days past ovulation. I couldn't get it together. My gosh. Um. So last time we spoke, I was telling you guys that I was three DPO and I was feeling gassy and fatigued. Um. DPO, I was still feeling gassy. I wasn't eating much dairy product, but I was still gassy. Um, and I was still fatigued. Same thing, DPO, 5 DPO. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Also, on 4 DPO as well as 5 DPO, I felt like pulling, pinching type of sensation going on in my stomach. Um, I didn't feel it on six days past ovulation, but I didn't really feel much on six DP. I guess it was kind of like an okay day. Um, and then on seven DPO, I felt that pulling, pinching sensation again. Um, today, this morning, when I woke up, I felt a little nauseous. Um, not much. So I, I just got up um, and I made sure to give me some. Said that um, I was pretty much okay. Sorry about that. I'm playing my music through my phone, and I keep getting tweets and messages and all that. But um, so right now, um, I really don't know how to feel about this cycle because you get hopeful and you think this is it, this is the cycle, and then Aunt Flo shows up. I also recently got a acne bump my face and normally I get those um, when my period is about to start which is not supposed to start until next week on the 12th so this is pretty early but like I said it's just you know you guys you, you guys you've been there you get hopeful and then it's just like I don't know how to take it you try not to make a big deal out of all of the things that you're going through but it's kind of hard to not obsess about what you're going through because you just want it so badly and I think during this two week wait I've really been trying not to obsess over anything that I've been feeling I've been doing my best to stay off like mom boards and TTC anything with TTC as far as like Facebook or Instagram like I try to stay off of that. Of course, I'm still on YouTube, watching videos and interacting with everyone just because I don't want anyone to think that I abandoned them or I forgot about them or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just really crazy. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know some of the symptoms you went through during your two week wait. Was it, it ended up in a BFN or a BFP? Um, you kind of just don't want to feel like you're alone in this process even though you have your spouses and everything it's kind of sometimes like they don't understand all 100% just because it's not something that their body is going through so but anyways ladies um I want to say thank you to all of my recently new subscribers um if you guys subscribe again and if I haven't subscribed to you please please that's been with me since day one thank you for continuing to stick with me on this journey it is not an easy one but i'm glad to have you guys um so with that being said i'll talk to you guys in probably another couple of days if not then we will talk to you guys on Tuesday. and most likely on that day you guys will most likely see my wife because she hates to be on camera so i'm going to try to get her in there some kind of way wish me luck with that as well but anyway see you next time guys